outcome decisions after your police interview. So we've discussed your options in interview. So once your interview has been conducted and completed, um, there are numerous outcome decisions following your interview. One is NFA, which is no further action. So that means there'll be no further action taken against you, which means the case is now closed and you have your belongings, electrical devices returned to you with immediate effect. Second is RUI, which is being released under investigation. So this means that there's further investigating that needs to be conducted and you will be released from the police station pending further investigation. There isn't a date for you to return or a time and it's down to your legal representative and the law firm representing you to be in regular contact with the officer in case regarding any updates of the investigation. Um, thirdly is a bail to return. This is very similar to, re to being released on the investigation except for there's a time and date for you um, to return back to the police station. Um, you can be bailed up to three months. Um, bail is usually because they want to put conditions in place. So these conditions can be not to contact the victim directly or indirectly, including victim and witnesses. Um, this could also mean for you to live and sleep at your same address. It could mean that if you're, they feel that you're a threat, that you will, won't return on bail, they may um, put conditions in place where you need to sign on at the police station once or twice a week. If the um, offence um, involves maybe robbery of a mobile phone and you've got previous, they could put a condition in place even stating that you don't um, have more than one mobile phone on you at any one time. Like I said again, it's um, down to your legal representative to chase um, the officer in case, I would say a few days before you're due to return on bail. So if there is a decision already, you can just be informed over the phone, whether you've been charged or they're extending your bails, um, save your wasted trip to the police station. Um, last but not least, um, you'll be charged after interview. Um, you can be charged and then bailed to appear at court at a later date. Um, if they believe that you're maybe a, f um, a threat to fail to appear or a threat to the public or you have previous for offending whilst on bail, they will remand you to go to court in the morning. So this will be a police station remand. So you'll be remanded at the police station and you'll be taken to court first thing in the morning. Uh, it's down to your legal representative to make a bail application to the custody sergeant. I always make my representations directly to the custody sergeant. 90% of the time the officer will say to you, um, we're going for remand, um, do you have any um, representations you would like to make? He will take a few little notes and say he's going to pass it on. I don't ever do that. Always request that you're on the phone during um, the charging decision and um, while the officer is making his own representations for remand, you can then make counter representations regarding um, an application for your, your client to be released on bail. I'll do a, another video um, in the near future in more detail regarding bail applications. So they're your disposal decisions um, after interview. Be safe, be legal.